Yo, yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. Guys, have you ever felt like you're missing the boat? Well, I have. What am I talking about? Well, I don't do videos like this a lot, but there's a specific brand of baits on the market that I haven't been utilizing to their full potential. In fact, I've been doing a lot of research over the last couple months, and I feel that this, this brand of baits, this soft plastic, is going to put more fish in my boat this coming season. I think it's going to help you guys out as well. That's all coming up. All right, so you guys know I throw a lot of soft plastics and there's a lot of great companies that make a lot of great products that I have extreme confidence in and I'm still going to use those baits this coming season. But every once in a while, I like to take a closer look at a company. Anytime I can improve my game and, and find something that I feel I'm going to be able to catch more fish with, I'm going to take a look at it. And in this case, we're talking about Z-Man soft plastic baits. Okay, so you know it's, it's something that's been around for a number of years. In fact, you know, Z-Man's been making chatter baits. I mean, I've been throwing the Z-Man chatter bait for years with success. And I'm extremely confident in that bait. And we're going to touch base a little bit about their chatter baits and some of their other hard bait lineup later on in this video. But their soft plastic is what really caught my eye. When the Ned Rig came out uh, just a few short years ago and was extremely popular and still is today, the standard bait that you threw the Ned Rig on was the TRD, the Finesse TRD bait. And it's one of the first uh, Z-Man plastic baits that I purchased. And it works. Uh, it's extremely effective when it comes to finesse fishing. Um, you can use it in a variety of different conditions all across the country. It works great for largemouth for me on the Chesapeake Bay. And it also works great for big smallies up in the northern part of the country. And when I first got this bait, you know, the first thing you realize is the technology in it. It allows that bait, I mean, look how far you can stretch this thing out. And it's not breaking. It's not coming apart. So it's extremely durable. It's called, I guess it's Elastec, uh, 10 times tough. It's, uh, it's so durable that you can catch numerous fish with one bait. So instead of burning through 20 or 30 soft plastics, you can probably utilize that same bait, fish catch after fish catch, because it's so durable. It's also buoyant. So that's a real major key with Ned Rigs and finesse fishing and a couple different instances that I utilize uh, pre-spawn, during the spawn. I use a lot of, of soft plastics that actually float. But unfortunately, this was as far as I took Z-Man's plastic products. I just utilized their Finesse TRD, and that was pretty much it. I didn't even, I guess, I didn't pay attention to all the other different plastics that they make, and there's a lot of them. So naturally, what I did was I, I went online, and I just bought an assortment of plastics from the company that I feel I can utilize this coming fishing season. And they make a lot of great, uh, you know, creature baits, from just regular uh, finesse worms uh, to something that would be similar to like a speed craw. There's a really neat little drop shot bait that we're going to talk about here in a little bit that I'm extremely excited about. They make some pretty cool swim baits as well. So I'm really excited. Look at this little leech deal here. Yeah, we're going to talk about that too. But I'm really excited to start using their plastics on a regular basis. I think I can do some damage. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I think, I think you guys need to take a look at this company. If you haven't already, uh, purchase a few of their products and give them a try this coming season. I think you're going to be impressed. But this video, I'm going to break down what I bought, why I bought it. And then we're going to go do a little bit of underwater footage as well and show you how these baits react uh, to different techniques and why I feel it could be a, a serious... Uh, piece of uh, uh, another tool, if you will, for lack of better term, that I can use on a regular basis moving forward. So of course the uh, Finesse TRD caught my eye early on. So I, I went naturally uh, when I saw that they also make what's called the Big TRD, 
which is just a little bit larger than the uh, regular one, that was a no-brainer. Uh, this reminds me uh, of some instances where I would actually throw like a 4-inch Senko on maybe a, a 16th ounce or 8th ounce weight in Texas rig it. Uh, what I like about that uh, with this particular bay is because it, they're all buoyant, it's going to stand straight up when I'm Texas rigging that bait. It's going to give those fish a different look. And sometimes that's a key. Not always. Okay, just because your, your bait's buoyant and floats up like this isn't always a good reason to throw that bait. Uh, so there is certain situations when I do look for a floating bait. Um, and I'm going to utilize this a lot in those situations. And a lot of it comes around the, the pre-spawn and the spawn stage. Uh, I find these fish, when you're really trying to slow down and work an area over with a soft plastic, that's when I feel that these, uh, these, this type of buoyant plastic is going to come into play for me. So you can see how the big TRD and the finesse TRD stand straight up. It's a great finesse bait. If you guys haven't used them yet on your Ned rigs, uh, I encourage you to, to try them out this year. I know it's worked well for me in the past, and I'm going to continue to use it. So what I'm really excited about are some of these different types of plastics that I purchased. So I got some of the Floating Worms. Uh, it's called a Floating Worm Z. It's a real finesse uh, type of worm. Uh, I went with the 4-inch uh, for the most part. Uh, I also got the 7-inch uh, as well for certain situations. A couple key colors. I went with a lot of the green pumpkins, the black and blue. I actually... I uh, can see this working really well, nose hooking this on a drop shot. Uh, that's going to be probably the primary reason why I'm going to be throwing this bait is going to be drop shotting, allowing that worm to, to hover and to float in the water column. Uh, that's going to be a really neat little bait. Another bait that they make that really caught my attention is going to be called the Boar Hogs. Maybe it's Hog Z, Boar Hogs, H-O-G-Z. And... Uh, really reminds me of a, uh, a brush hog. And I use brush hogs quite a bit. And I can see this technology, uh, the fact that this will actually float upright is going to be a little, it's going to allow me to give the fish just a little bit different look uh, than a regular brush hog. So I'm certainly looking forward to utilizing this. I'm going to throw that a lot Texas rigged. Uh, with a with a tungsten weight, bullet weight in front. Another bait that caught my attention in their lineup. This one's called the Turbo Cross. This reminds me of a Speed Craw. I throw a lot of Speed Craws, and I throw them a lot Carolina rigging, and I also throw them on the back of a swim jig or a chatter bait, and that's one of the most exciting ways that I can see this bait working is throwing this on the back of a chatter bait. So I got them in white and then of course I got them in uh, black and blue, green pumpkin, and there's a few other colors. I'm going to give a, give them a try. Uh, the watermelon candy, which is a, a very good color for clear water smallmouth. Utilizing that on a Carolina rig is going to be huge. Now something else that caught my attention was called the Fatty Z. So this is just a it's got to be, what, about five inches long? Just a soft plastic, again, extremely durable. Same technology, same plastic that they use in all their baits. But, of course, it's shaped uh, just like, a, a, it's almost like a Senko, but with it narrows towards the tail, a tapering tail. It's flat on the bottom, so I can see that working real well on a shaky head. And that bait's going to float straight up as well. So I'm going to utilize that this year when I'm doing some shaky head fishing and put that fatty Z on there. I'm excited to see how that's going to work. All right, so another bait that really caught my attention was the Z-Man Trick Shots. This little gem here, and when we, when we take a look at it underwater, it's, it does exactly what I look for in a floating uh, bait. Um, but it's a great size. It's going to work great when I'm drop shining for largemouth as well as smallmouth. I got them in both the three and a half 
and then they also come in a 4.2 inch size and I'm looking forward to utilizing them this year um, you know offshore fishing for smallmouth as well as uh, during the spawn for largemouth I think it's going to come into play for me because I use a lot of soft plastics that float that time of year and so I got them in some really cool colors uh, this copper truce is very interesting I can see that working great for smallmouth as well as largemouth if you got a little bit of stain to the water of course I got them in the green pumpkin the black so look at this little gem of a color yeah they call this twilight but this is gonna be like your morning dawn color which is and it, <laughs> it's a great color no matter what part of the country I fish morning dawn produces wherever I go so I definitely wanted to get my hands on some of these and I didn't go too extreme you know what I mean I only bought one or two packs per color I'm sure they're gonna work and of course you know that's one of the things when you're first starting to learn a new product that's out there I don't like to you know I, I probably am gonna need 50 packs of these but I started out small want to give them a try this year and I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how they produce out there while we're talking about drop shotting baits another little bait that caught my eye it's called the scented leech and so this is just a, a standard uh, leech imitator that's going to work extremely well for smallies it, again it's going to be buoyant so it's going to give those fish just a different look it's extremely durable it'll be interesting to see when you're nose hooking it how how well that stays on the hook and if I can get away with multiple fish with just one one particular plastic uh, you know a lot of times when I'm fishing for smallies these fish come out of the water and on that first initial jump a lot of times that bait just flies off the hook and uh, and you have to put another one on so I, I think with this uh, with this type of plastic it might be able to pin that bait on the hook a little bit better for me and it will probably result in multiple fish catches but I'm excited about that little leech uh, that's gonna be a fun one to try out this year another bait that I really like that caught my attention was the razor shad and all it is is a four and a half inch swim bait style plastic I can see that working great on the back of a swim jig and a chatter bait as well so of course we got to talk about the Z-Man chatter baits um, it's been a standard chatter bait in my box for years last year I actually switched over to specifically throw in the jackhammer uh, which is another Z-Man product uh, it's a chatter bait but it's a chatter bait on steroids it's a step up uh, the quality in this chatterbait, the way it goes, the action of it, the hook, uh, the components, there's nothing that comes close. Yeah, they're pricey, but when money's on the line for me, or if I'm on a, a major chatterbait bite, if I'm doing some guiding with clients, and I want to get them on a good, you know, a good chatterbait uh, bite, this is the chatterbait that I am going to use with, with confidence, knowing that I'm presenting that bait exactly how it needs to be presented. I experiment with a lot of trailers with it. I use a, uh, just a standard grub to a, uh, a, swim, a swim bait on it. Of course, these razor shads are going to come into play. I'm, I'm really looking forward to throwing these on the back of the chatter baits this coming season as well. So, man, I can't wait. It's coming. It won't be long. All right, guys, a couple tricks with this type of plastic sometimes it can be extremely frustrating to rig it onto your terminal tackle so for instance this finesse worm here I'm going to utilize uh, and I use these owner ultra head shakies uh, for my shaky heads and I find that these hooks are great um, but sometimes with the Z-Man product it's extremely hard to be able to twist that that plastic onto this this hook it just wants to pull out doesn't want to come together so a trick I found that that I use all the time I'll just grab my handy lighter hip-hop for life it's a long story and I'll just I'll just heat that up just like so hold it there for maybe 10 seconds get it nice and hot and that's gonna allow me to take this plastic here and thread it up now 
onto that shaky head just like so and there you go and now it's perfect it's not coming off and it's a lot easier than trying to force this piece of plastic up onto that onto that keeper now just like it was difficult to thread that that finesse worm onto onto that that keeper uh, sometimes when you're just basically taking the uh, finesse TRD or any of these plastics and you, let's just say we're rigging it on a net head um, you know sometimes because it's not like normal soft plastic that you're used to you have to really take your time and thread that on properly uh, so you can give it a good a good look like this is perfect here um, and that's what I like I like things to be streamlined but it's going to take a little bit of time and practice in order to make sure it's rigged up right. I mean, you could do it quick, and uh, I mean, this is exactly what happens. It'll, it'll be crooked and cockeyed, and it might not be able to push it all the way up to the head. And I'm not making a cast with this bait this way. I'm sure it'll work, but in my mind, everything has to be perfect. So I'm going to take the extra couple seconds and make sure it's threaded on right and it's on there straight which can be frustrating you know with this with this technology it has its pros and cons of course because it's elastic because it's so durable sometimes you just got to really focus on making sure that 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 bait is rigged up properly all right one last tip with z-man soft plastic baits and i learned this the hard way uh, when the Ned Rig first came out, I literally went out and bought four or five hundred dollars worth of Ned Rigs of, of the TRDs, the finesse TRDs, and in a, a wide range of colors. I think I bought all the colors that they made. And you guys, I really like to store my plastics in a, a hard box container with trays and line them all up. So I took them out of the bag, I put them in the trays, and about two months later, because of the different temperature changes, um, the baits basically mushed together and either they were they stuck together and got deformed or they turned out to be you know crooked in the box and they were I had to throw them all out I had to start all over so uh, that was my first uh, learning experience when it comes to storing these baits uh, what's nice now now that I learned my lesson you have to keep them in the packages that they came in. And I would recommend combining more baits per package. Uh, what I did was I actually purchased their soft plastic container that they have on their website. I need a couple more of these because one just wasn't enough for how many I bought. So I got to figure out uh, a system for that. But what's nice is you'll see at the bottom of the packages, there's already a hole that you can utilize and put into a soft plastic bag like this. So. Uh, very innovative as far as how to store that, but that's going to get you away from having that problem that I had. All my other plastics I store that way. Uh, just the Z-Man, I learned my lesson. Uh, I'm already down 500 bucks because of it. So uh, just for future reference, make sure you keep them in the plastic that the plastic bags that they came in. Upon editing, I realized I left this part out, but. I also got a few of their jigs and I actually trimmed the skirts. I took out the, the inner layer of that, of that skirted jig that Z-Man sells, put the TRD on it, and that's going to be another great finesse bait that I'm looking forward to using this year as well. All right, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Get yourself some of these Z-Man plastics. Give them a try. If you've been using them, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Uh, any tips that you can offer me as far as where you like to throw them, when you like to throw them, what types of, uh, what types of baits you like to throw, I'd love to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.